The year is 2024 and we just got brand new Clear World cards. Didn't expect this on my bingo sheet. You guys smash the link right out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So embrace a pure and empty world with Clear World. Now I need to give us a quick refresher here as to what in the world Clear World was. So this is a old field spell that says during each of your end phases pay 500 light points or this card pops itself. And each player receives effects depending on the monster attribute they control. So if you have a light, you play with your hand revealed at all times. If you have a dark, um, if you control two or more monsters, you cannot declare an attack. Earth, during your standby phase, target one face up defense with this monster, you control destroy that target. Water, during your end phase, discard one. Fire, during your turn, take a thousand, or during your end phase, take a thousand damage. And wind, you must fade 500 light points to activate a spell card. Not the greatest card in the world, but we finally have the archetype that goes around this. So, this is starting off here with Clear Phantom. It is a dark. So, you can discard this card and one other card to add two cards from your deck to your hand that are either Clear World and or Spells and Traps that mention it. That is your field spell that we just saw over there. Uh, you are unaffected by the effects of Clear World. Hey, look at that. They made it so that you wouldn't feel the punishing effects of not being able to declare attacks. And if this card is destroyed, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and if you do, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Now, I'm going to be honest with you here for a second. I'm assuming whatever we have going on with this Clear World stuff, there will be more to come. All right? Animation Chronicle typically introduces you know, old stuff getting poured on in here. So while this is a searcher that does give you the ability to toggle and get those searches, um, as of filming this, there are only two spells and traps that mention Clear World, and one of them is Clear World itself. So also, I mean, the free float pop isn't exactly the greatest thing in the world. Now we have the Clear Rage Golem, and I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks kinda cool here. So this is a level four dark rock. Oh man, a dark rock. That's really some coverage out here. You only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can activate this effect. Your monsters that mention Clear World can attack directly this turn. Yes, a clear new world after all. You're unaffected by the effects of Clear World, yet once again, they want you to be able to bypass those big old restrictions out here, which is fine. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can inflict 300 damage to them for each card in their hand. Now, this, this feels very anime driven, by the way. Ooh, 300 damage for each card in their hand. Yeah, it's on a 1600. You're not doing too much with that, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, okay, yeah, you state the condition that you can attack directly, but that's 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 just it. Like, it's just a free attack directly. And then we have the clear cube. What in the world? It's just a little, a little, a little frozen guy. You, uh, honestly, the, the clear archetype is just anything that you can shove in an ice cube <laughs> in terms of creativity. So this is level one dark machine. Oh. Oh, this is 100% machine dupable. During your main phase, you can normal summon one monster that mentions Clear World in addition to your normal summoner state. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Oh, it's still machine dupable. If this face of card in its owner's control leaves the field by your opponent, you can swap summon one monster from your deck that mentions Clear World. That's not a once per turn, by the way. So technically, if you were to ram three of these into things, you and after you've like done a machine dupe, um, you could float into three different monsters. That's actually kind of stupid that you can actually do that. But you know what? Realistically, are you gonna pull that off? Probably not. But it's an option. You gotta love machine dupe targets. Uh, clear vicious knight. This is actually kind of cool. So this is a level eight dark warrior with twenty three hundred attack, eleven hundred defense. It's actually kind of small. Uh, we can tribute some of this card by tributing one monster that mentions Clear World. Okay, this card uh, gains attack equal to the highest original attack among the monsters your opponent controls. So, actually that's not too terrible. So, your opponent's got 3k, this is what, 5300 attack points. Once again, our famous infamous line here, you are unaffected by the effects of Clear World. And your opponent can activate the effects of special summon monsters with attack lower than this tributed cards. Can I activate the effects of special summon? Ah, oh, man. 
It is a mini little floodgate, which I, I guess is fine in and in itself. Um, being able to basically, I mean, you'll be sitting on something relatively large here, but it's not going to help any that we're deploying this after our opponent's already set up a relatively huge field. You know what I mean? It leaves a little bit to be desired. And then we got this continuous spell card here. So this is going to be the clear wall. So you can only use the first effect this card's name once per turn. So if Clear World is on the field, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand that mentions it. So as long as you got that really terrible field spell up and running, you're pulling any utility option that you need out of your deck. Monsters that mention Clear World cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no damage from battles involving them. Huh, that's very interesting. And then while you control a level 7 or higher monster that mentions Clear World, all effects of Clear World are also applied to your opponent regardless of the attributes they control. So this is actually kind of big here. For those of you that, when we looked at Clear World at the beginning of this video here, all of those punishing downside effects that you have, you know, the taking the extra damage and all of that, you basically force all of that on your opponent which is pretty good. Now, in terms of reprints down here, you might remember the name Clear Vice Dragon. Well, Clear Vice over here was our big boss monster. So you're unaffected by the effects of Clear World. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, its attack becomes twice the attack of the target during damage calculation only. And if this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can discard one card instead. So basically, what you end up having here is this huge monster that is basically going to be poking your opponent for effectively double damage at this point. You want to make sure that, you know, as you're pressuring the game state with these huge monsters, you're basically going into a good game-winning position. And I mean, it, it's it's got something to really be set out here. I do think that the Clear World stuff, I mean, this stuff seems like it has potential, especially... Everything that you can do with Clear World itself, I mean, you get the 3,000, you have to pay 500 to activate a spell card, so that means if you technically outpay your opponent down to too low, they might not be able to activate this. You get a free discard one from your opponent's hand, and, I mean, what, the target of face-up defense mode? Destroy that target? I mean, the Earth effect is literally the worst effect on this card. And then, Tour More can't declare an attack, and Light, they have to play with their hand revealed, so you'll, you'll know at all points what your opponent has. I do fully suspect more will be coming here down the pipeline. This is Animation Chronicle, after all. I'm just very curious to know what cool stuff we're going to get with this. So make sure you guys smash the like and crap out of that subscribe button, and I will see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons! Thank you! Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.